Breaking news with your meteorologist, Carter Haas. Blizzard this week? Temperatures low enough to cause snow? What will happen? School canceled? All of these questions will be answered and more on NDNWS. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, I'm your reporter and meteorologist, Carter Haas, reporting to you today for NDNWS. Today, we're going to be answering a lot of questions about this storm coming up, and we're going to be breaking it down for you. So let's get started. But before I do that, I just want to say anything that I'm predicting can change every two hours. Radar's changing, the uh, low pressure system and how its movement is changing, the temperature is changing, but... I'm making my predictions, I'm seeing the trends, and I'm, all gonna, and I'm going to explain it all to you and answer your questions. So let's start off with temperature as it really does impact the, co the blizzard itself that we could be seeing and or winter storm. The temperature we've been seeing a downtrend throughout the days of the storm, kind of starting on Wednesday and then ending on Saturday into Sunday. Yet it's not going to be that lengthy, it's going to be on and off kind of periods. We'll explain that really what it is is it's just a downtrend in temperatures so it's going to be that kind of slushy wet snow mixed in with some rain at periods of time but then ending with pure snow so it's going to be hard to shovel um it's most likely that it will stay on the gravel that could definitely happen but we're 100 percent sure that if there is snow it's going to stay on the grass and um dirt if that makes sense so it's going to be hard to shovel it's going to be heavy it's going to be annoying but it's north dakota what do you expect now temperatures after this will continue to drop and then raise back up so the snow will most likely melt but this moisture right now considering the fact that some farmers haven't even gotten their crops out of the ground this is not a good thing um really what we're expecting when it comes to day by day forecast is it's going to start on wednesday with some rain and then in the thursday is when we start getting that snow mixed with rain and then friday pure snow throughout the whole day saturday some rain snow some rain and then snow but it's a smaller system that's moving its way in and then sunday ends out with a little bit of snow it's all kind of piling on top of each other but i'd say the main event is on friday where we see blizzard conditions blizzard, blizzard conditions are classified easily 35 miles per hour wind and over and it has to snow i believe at a rate of inches per hour a certain amount of inches i did not know that at this time but i will figure that out later on uh, this is not a bomb cyclone, nothing to be worried about that, nothing to be worried about. But this low pressure system has been eating other low pressure systems, which means it's gaining strength. So with the dew point, the humidity really, when this storm comes in, even if that humidity drops, it already has enough strength to provide a winter storm and or a blizzard. So we could be seeing 6 to 12 inches in that area, not for sure yet. It's too early to kind of make that kind of prediction, so I'm giving a small one right now don't take that as the structuredized one now with this storm after it moves out you know there's going to be that slushy aftermath if i-90 if i-29 and i-94 are closed then expect to stay home because and expect school to even be closed yet on thursday and friday schools in the north dakota area will not be opened and schools being closed on wednesday very low possibility could it happen yes will it happen most likely not so moving on from that, besides when it comes to moisture, how long this storm will stay, we're, we, will, we will see an impactful storm. If it's not a blizzard, it's going to be a winter storm warning, and then it could turn into a ground blizzard where the snow on the ground is blowing and no snow is falling from the air and blowing. We could see that happen. All I'm saying is that this is going to be a storm, it's going to be bad, and I'm going to be here to predict it for you. Now let's answer some questions. We've already answered school closures. We've already answered the question that there is going to be a blizzard, yet how, how bad will this storm be? This storm, I would rate it as a, from five to highest, one to lowest, a category three storm in my own rating. So I am in, so I'm issuing a winter weather alert. This winter weather alert I issue in case of a storm that I'm sincerely worried about and that I think I will need to track throughout the rest of the week which I will do. So winter weather alert by myself has been issued. So this just means be prepared for a North Dakota blizzard. That's pretty much it. Um, other than that, there no there's really nothing else else to say rather than we can we're going to keep tracking the storm. It could all just disappear from our eyes and be a little bit of snow, or it could be a major storm. So we need to be prepared for that. Thank you all for watching. Be prepared, be safe, be healthy, 
or try to be healthy and uh, have a nice day. I'll see you guys later. Adios.